What is it about Muscle Shoals? It's just a little village on the Alabama border. Why does that music come out of there? Each time a person went to Muscle Shoals, they came out of there with a hit. Record making like that doesn't happen often. It usually takes somebody like Rick Hall with the drive to do it. I was going to kick some ass and take some names. I wanted to be somebody. Uh, all right. uh. Rick Hall had a rhythm section of exceptional players. Those guys would sit there in that studio and just find the group, you know? And I'd be right there with them, singing along. And we'd all work it out together. Rick Hawley stuck there every minute. You gotta have a name, and Swampers is a good nickname. You just didn't expect them to be as funky or as greasy as they were. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. Paul Simon called Stax Records, talked to Al Bell and said, hey, man, I want those same black players that played on I'll Take You There. He says, that can happen, but these guys are mighty pale. Let me take you there. I'll take you there. We started to explode. The world was coming to Muscle Shoals. When I think back on all the crap I learned in high school. You thought you hadn't found a good girl. Being there does inspire you to do it differently. It's like when they're coming out, you're shit. It was being funky, you know, that was the whole idea of it. I began to tell him of this great new deal we'd made with Capital. One of the guys stopped me and said, we've already made a deal with Jerry, we'll be leaving here. It was war. some of the greatest voices that ever were. There are certain places where there is a field of energy. You're in rock and roll heaven, man. <laughs>